What is up YouTube, it's your boy Jerry, and today's video will be on the Milwaukee Bucks. Now the Milwaukee Bucks have been flying under the radar this year. They really haven't been, you know, under the spotlight of the media. We all, we keep hearing about the Nets, the Clippers, and the Lakers. Like, that's all we hear about. We don't hear not about nobody else. Even though Milwaukee finished third in the East, um, they play, they've they been playing like really great basketball since after the All-Star break. They're, um, they're 46 and 26. And you know they just they, they they finish with a great season. And the question of the question of this video is um, how far can Milwaukee get in the playoffs? And you know you guys can comment below, down below how far you think they'll get it. And I'm gonna answer the question. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna answer the question right here right now, man. And I think the um, I think the Milwaukee Bucks will get all the way, at least all the way up to the conference finals. Um, just just off the sole fact like they play um, uh, Miami. They play Miami in the in the first round. Now Miami, um, now I know like last year they surprised everybody, but Miami don't look like that same. They just don't. It's something about them. They don't look like that same. They don't look like they got that same grit that they had from last year. So I think uh, I think Milwaukee, I think Milwaukee would. I think they're gonna beat them pretty easily this year, and I think they want that matchup. And then um, so in the second round they'll probably face a team like Philly. You know I think um, you know. I don't know. It's a toss up, but I think that's a matchup that Milwaukee would, you know, they will definitely, you know, they could definitely win just because of like the, um, the, the 76ers, man, uh, they don't really have like, uh, like Ben Simmons. It's, this is going to be tough to see how they play in the playoffs. So I got, I, I'm edging the favorites towards Milwaukee in that series. And then in the conference finals, I think they'll meet a team like the Brooklyn Nets. And, um, I don't know. I feel like Milwaukee could beat them. You watched them them last two, them last two times against the Brooklyn Nets. I know the Nets was nowhere near 100%, but they were still a um, formidable team. And Giannis, one of them games, he went for like 40, damn near 50. So Giannis really, um, he showed up against the Brooklyn Nets. Now, um, let, let, now let me first, uh, let me explain to you why I think the why I think Milwaukee can get, um, can get this far in the playoffs. You look at um, the first player we look at. We already know. Um, the Greek freak Giannis Antetokounmpo. Um, he's having an MVP-like season, averaging 28 points a game, six assists, and 11 rebounds, shooting 56% from the field, and he cracked that 30% um, percentile in the three-point um, um, at three-point shooting. So that's pretty good. It's getting better and better. And you know the scary thing about Giannis numbers, the Bucks blow almost all their opponents out, and he only playing like Giannis. Um, he logged only 28 minutes a game this season, which is ridiculous. Just imagine what he average if he played like high minutes, like 35, 37 minutes a game. So I feel like um, Giannis, this is gonna be, he's 27 years of age now. He's coming off a, a super, a super big um, max contract, man, worth $300 million. So I feel like Giannis, um, you look at him this year, man, he's getting more mature. Um, he's shooting the three ball more. And you know, I, what I would like to see for Giannis is for him to learn how to um, you know, just work the mid range. Like Giannis has um, as much raw talent as the next guy has. He has raw talent, but he needs to like, he needs to work on his skill. And I feel like once Giannis, once he learned like, once he learned, once he learned like, you know, post fadeaways, uh, midi pull up, you know, he's gonna be unguardable. And even Giannis now at his current state, I feel like um, he's good enough to 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 get to the third round in the in the. Um, you know, in the Eastern Conference playoffs. So that's another guy. I mean, that's one guy, man, their, their best player, you know, their centerpiece. And then you look at a guy like Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton is, I want to say he's a, he's a, um, I don't want to say he's a streaky shooter, but there is some nights he can, um, you know, he can go cold. But when he's on, he's on. He done hit some big shots for Milwaukee, um, specifically in the playoffs over the last um, three or four years. He's, aver he's averaging 20 points per game this season. Um, and you know, he's a bucket, you know, he's not, he, he's a, you know, he's not one of the best, he's not a, a great defender, but he's a good defender, long arms. He's like six, seven, and you know, he tries on defense. So, you know, that's, that's a guy we can look at, Chris Middleton. And then, uh, <clears throat> you take in, um, um, I think they got Drew Holiday through trade in the off season. So you take in, um, uh, Drew Holiday, he's one of my favorite pickups for them because they needed a guy. Um, Eric Bledsoe, um, to all my Milwaukee fans, you guys know, man, it's not Eric Bledsoe didn't show up for not one um, playoff series, not not ever since um, what's his name, Terry Rozier, man, Terry Rozier, 
that year that um, Kyrie missed like a couple of rounds of the playoffs, Terry Rozier embarrassed Eric Bledsoe, and he wasn't really the same after that. So, you know, picking up Drew Holiday was big for for Milwaukee, man. You get a guy that can, first of all, he's a two-way player. He's going to guard the best perimeter player um, every night. And that's huge. That's huge to have in the playoffs. And then he's a, you know, he's a, he's a walking bucket. He can go out and get you 20 points, um, 30 points a night. Not a night, but, you know, on a given night. And then, um, so, you know, he's averaging 17 points um, and six assists on the season. You know, he's still getting, you know, used to these new guys. He's been kind of, you know, he's been nicked up at points this season. So, um, you know, I expect Drew Holiday to be an intricate part of the of the Milwaukee, um, of the Milwaukee, Milwaukee Bucks team. And, you know, and I just think he was a great pickup for them. Now, you look at the rest of the Milwaukee Bucks, they have, like, they have a bunch of role players. You know, they're very deep. They got um they got seven seven players averaging you know double figures a game which is you know that's gonna be that's gonna be great when you can go nine ten deep in the playoffs it really comes in handy and then um you got another pickup they got in the season I can't re I don't remember if they got PJ via trade or via buyout but PJ Tucker was another he's another great um another great pickup for the for the Milwaukee Bucks he's another guy they needed um a guy. That can come in the game when they want to pay Giannis at the five, throw PJ at the four, because you know sometimes Brick Lopez, Brick Lopez, is a defensive liability. You know he's getting older; he's not as quick as he used to be. So you know you throw PJ in at the four, he can he can guard. Um, I want to say two through five, three through five. He's a hell of a defender. Um, you know he can shoot the three ball, especially um, the corner three. You know we all know how the Milwaukee Bucks play. Um, Giannis, you know five out top of the key. Um, you know, PJ's nine times out of ten going to be in the corner, and you know the, the corner is the first place to always rotate. So you know he, he and Giannis is a great passer. Giannis going to hit him right in the shooting pocket. You know, right to um, you know right to PJ Tucker, probably the best corner three point shooter in the league. You know, percentage wise, you know I'm not saying he's a better shooter than guys like Steph Curry from the corner. You know, Clay Thompson, but percentage wise, um, I think PJ Tucker, you know, he holds the highest the highest three point percentage in the corner. So you know. Um, you know, yeah. So you got you got guys like that, man. Hard nosed players like P.J. Tucker. You got uh, David Jenso. Hope I said his name right. Pat Connaughton. He can play ball. Um, another pickup they got. Nobody talks about Bobby Portis. He's playing some good basketball for them. And then not only um, so you know, not only are there you know players doing individually great on their team. You look at them for you know team. They look at their team stats. Um, their fourth and three point. Um, their fifth and three point attempts, fourth and um, three point percentage. That's it. That's going to be used for the playoffs. So they got shooters on their team. Um, their fifth in offensive rating, um, and then their tenth in defense. So we got a team that's top ten in defense and top five in offense. Recipe for playoff success. So you know that's why I think. Hey, that's why I think Milwaukee. That's why I think Milwaukee will uh, make a. I think they'll make a deep playoff run. I think they'll get back to the. Or get to the conference finals. I don't. I don't know if they've been if they've been there yet. But um, oh yeah, they did get there when they lost to um, Toronto. So yeah, I think they'll get to the conference finals and you know play the Brooklyn Nets. And I think you know they'll have a shot against the Brooklyn Nets just for the sole fact that the, the Brooklyn Nets don't have a, a defensive stopper, but they do have three offensive juggernauts. So you know that'll be a fun series. I think it'll go at least six or seven games. And yeah, man, that's it for this video. I want to make a video on the Milwaukee Bucks. I feel like nobody has been talking about these guys really this year. But if you enjoyed this video, man, leave a like. Um, comment down below how far you think the Milwaukee Bucks can go in the playoffs. Some of you guys might think they'll be a first round exit. You know, the Heat are a goddamn wild card. You never know what to expect from them. And also subscribe, man. Subscribe if you like, you know, if you like videos like this, you know, subscribe for weekly content. You know, I done upload it for like, you know, like, you know, four straight, I'm uh, not four straight months, but so it's, you know what, I ain't even gonna try to do the minimum map, mental math, but at least like 20 straight weeks out of uploading. So the content is very consistent, man. If you enjoy it, you know, subscribe. And that's curtains.